Here's the latest modification to the 500 RS. It's uh, some 41 millimeter forks um, with clip-ons as well. The forks are from an NC30. They've got NC30 lowers, um, but the uh, the staunchions are actually from a VFR 750. I've been wanting to fit some uh, for some beefier forks to the front end uh, for a while now. It uses NSR 250 yokes, which, uh, believe it or not, use the same bearing sizes for the uh, for the stem uh, as, as they for the RS, and that's an NC30 front mudguard. I did a track day in September and uh, I just felt that uh, the front end, although I had um, harder fork springs in the in the standard RS forks, they were a bit spindly, especially with the with the uprated brake and uh, there was quite a bit of movement so uh, I thought I'll uh, experiment with some, some thicker but It's got a fork brace as well um, because I've only got the single disc um, and that's the FMX uh, 650 disc and the caliper is an NC30 caliper so uh, as you can see the uh, the forks they just they just look a little bit a little bit meatier than the uh, the little 33 mil ones from the uh, from the RS. I tried to keep it looking as original, you know, ish um, as possible, so it wasn't too. I've even you can see I've even sprayed the. Uh, mudguard with the RS colours and uh, the forks are adjustable they've got the uh, preload um, and um, damping adjustment as well and the clip-ons um, they're the same uh, make as the the previous ones but they're obviously for a, a 41 mil uh, staunchion. A couple of modif there's, a bit, there's a couple of modifications just to get it to fit better, but um, you can't complain really. It does reduce the steering lock a bit, which uh, is something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, but as it's, as it's used really now for a bit of fun and, and the odd track day uh, and not co commuting to work or anything anymore um, I think I can put up with that so yeah so um, the obviously the uh, NC30 lower forks uh, had provisions for uh, another caliper because they had a twin disc setup, obviously. Um, so I, I've got the lugs there. I didn't want to cut them off straight away, just in case. Um, and in fact, I'm using one to uh, secure the um, uh, speedo cable using one of the lugs here. So, uh, but I, I think with the, the color, the black, you know, it's hidden really. It gives me an option, I suppose, of if in the future I did want to uh, fit twin discs, I'd obviously have to go for uh, a different front wheel. At the moment, I kind of like the spoke look. Still, kind of looks uh, original, like an RS. And uh, got some new 
Hagen rear shocks uh, as opposed to the Marzocchi's which um, were a bit getting a bit old now uh, and at the track day I did the practical sports bike track day in September and uh, it was fine it went really well um, so uh, we'll see what that new front end I haven't had a chance to take it out on the road uh, just yet because the weather's a bit, a bit iffy um, but we'll see what uh, what difference it makes up. It should be uh, what difference it makes. There should be it should be better. There'll be improved brake uh, uh, damping. Um, the fork action should be a little bit more modern. But it was a bit of a pogo stick with the uh, the standard forks uh, and uprated springs. Um, but yeah, it seems all right. So uh, that's the latest. Um, the next, the next thing over the winter, I might fit um, a new, new piston, a standard um, Honda or an original Honda piston. Uh, at the moment, it's got an aftermarket piston in there, um, but I, uh, I think I'll fit a, a standard Honda piston in there. But that's that's for that's for later on in the winter. But for now, it was just a case of uh, just go for an uprated front end and uh, see if that improves it or not so we'll, we'll find out come the spring right thanks for watching